Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 RAV4 Limited Hybrid. Now the most notable features on the Limited is its parking sensors, its 360 degree backup camera, as well as its heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 RAV4 Limited Hybrid. Let's get started. To start, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the limited package. One of them being is your LED headlamps as well as your fog lamps. And if you take a look just underneath the Toyota emblem here, you're going to see your front camera for your 360 degree backup camera. You also can see on the sides here your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. On your mirrors you have your integrated signal lamps, you have your vortex generators, and then if you take a look at the inside of your mirror here, this little indicator is your blind spot monitoring, so when a vehicle comes up into your blind spot, this will actually light up just alerting you that there is a vehicle there. The other nice thing with the limited package is it also offers you a smart key system with a, um, a lock and unlock feature for your door handle here. So if you actually want to lock all the doors at once, just push on the handle here. It'll lock all the doors for you. Now the other nice thing is, if you actually put your hand between the handle here, it'll actually unlock the front door for you. Now the only way that this will actually occur is as long as you have the key fob on you. So as you could see before, it'll actually just uh, set off on, um, just a little beep, just letting you know that uh, the key fob needs to be on you in order for you to lock all the doors. Now the color we're taking a look at today is magnetic gray. And to start off with, we're gonna show you your front dash as well as your front seats, just so that you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have your power driver's seat with lumbar support, as well as your leather seat surfaces. And if we take a look just on your left hand side, you have your mirror controls as well as your lane departure alert, heated steering wheel, and your power lift gate opener. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your seat memory controls with your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the features you are going to see on your steering wheel here are your volume control, you also have your Bluetooth, scroll function, mode select, and then you also have your voice recognition. Now on this side you have your scroll function for your trip information, and then you also have your cruise control. Now the other great thing with the Limited is that you have a push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will actually start up for you. Now a couple of the features you will see on your multi-informational display on your driver's side it's one of the things I really like about it because you can go through many of the different settings through here. You can also see you have a distance to empty as well as an energy monitor, sway warning control, but you can also go through your navigation, your audio, as well as your cruise, messages, and then you can adjust your settings for your parking assist uh, on and off, your blind spot monitoring, your pre-collision system, and your lane departure alert. And if we take a look just on uh, the very top here in messages, you'll actually see it come on again but you actually have a uh, exterior temperature gauge just located at the very top here. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. Now one of the things that changed for 2017 is now that you, uh, you actually have indicator lights for your rear passengers just in case they haven't buckled up. So parents if you're worried about your kids not actually fastening their seat belts this uh, little indicator will actually light up just alerting you that they haven't actually buckled up yet and will not turn off until they've actually buckled their seat belts up. Now you have your hazard lights as well as your traction control on and off. And if you head into your apps menu, you're gonna see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. You also have your dual zone climate control settings, front and rear defroster. Located just underneath, you're gonna see your EV, eco and sport mode, as well as your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. Uh, window wiper de-icer as well as your USB and auxiliary and your two power outlets just located right there. Matted to a CVT transmission and if we take a look at the very top here you're gonna see your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass and then you have your open and closed and your tilt up and down for your power moonroof and your sunglass case holder for those days where it's quite bright outside. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate, now located on the back of your tailgate. You're going to find your backup camera just on your left hand side. The other nice thing with the limited package is it also offers you parking sensors just located across your rear bumper. And then the hatch release will be located right underneath the Toyota emblem. All you have to do is push it once and it will open up automatically for you. 
Now I'm going to show you a little bit later on in the video just how you can actually manually um, adjust the height for your power lift gate. But first I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so that you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now the nice thing with the limited package is it also offers you a tonneau cover. So if you're worried about people possibly peering into your rear cargo seat and seeing what you have stored back here, you can actually hide away most of your valuables from uh, being seen if you're in a parking lot and you have to go from store to store. Now the other nice thing is you also have a cargo net so if you want to make sure loose cargo isn't bouncing around in your um, cargo space you can actually uh, use the cargo net to actually store it there. The other nice thing is you also have um, readjustable settings for your cargo net just in case you do need the additional room. Now if we actually just take a look underneath here you're going to see your spare tire as well as your jack and your toolkit. But the nice thing about this uh, space is that you can actually store your tonneau cover underneath here as well. Just in case you do have some cargo that actually sits a little bit higher. Now if you do want to hide away some of your valuables underneath the floor, there is some storage just located at the very front here. Just so you can hide away some of your valuables. Now, to readjust the height for your power lift gate, Say you wanted to have it set at this height for instance, just hold down on this button for approximately 2 seconds, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. Now if you do need to reset the height for whatever reason, just hold down on this button again for more than 4 seconds, it'll beep several times, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height for you. A couple of uses for your power lift gate is if uh, your garage is a little bit lower, you can adjust the height just so you don't damage the back of your tailgate, or if you're a little bit shorter, you can readjust the height to suit your needs. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.